Welcome to Fishing Always. This week we are in my home waters here in San Diego. I'm fishing with my good friend Matt Moyer and we're fishing for dinner. We're actually hoop netting for lobster. So we brought along eight hoop nets, got them baited down. We're going to sit out here in the early evening, set out some traps and then hang out at night and hopefully those lobster come out and crawl in your hoops and you got some good dinner. The cool thing about hoop netting is you also can fish while your nets are soaking. Well, Matt can fish because Dummy here left his fishing rod in the truck. So I'm gonna sit back and have a ballast point or two while Matt catches some spotted bay bass. But stick around, we're gonna have a great time. Underspan, like cool baits. Good job, Jim.
Yeah. Oh, that one's definitely legal. Yeah. So you got to measure them. Put the gauge right between their eyes. And it has to go yep. the end of the carapace. And that is a legal lobster. We have one dinner. Woohoo! <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's legal. Generally, if you put your hand underneath their belly like this, you just grab onto it. Oh yeah, by a quarter of an inch. Just like deadliest catch. <laughs> yep. Oh, whoa. While Maine lobster have uh, large claws that they use for cracking things and for protection, spiny lobsters do not have claws. Their whole body is covered in spines and that's kind of their protection as well as their long uh, abrasive antenna. I find the tail meat on a Pacific lobster to be a little bit sweeter and I, I like it better. I can tell. so grumpy but those things will slice you open. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's a legal spotty. Well that wraps up our uh, evening on the water. We had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly didn't crush them tonight but we got five really good quality lobster which means the three of us are having a really quality meal. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us next time. We're out.